हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज केंद्र विद्यालय संगठन जीत भुवनेश्वर इनिशिएटिव वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग डिजिटल वीडियोस फॉर चैप्टर्स इन क्लास इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ एज वी नो वी आर कंटिन्यूंग विथ आर इनिशिएटिव टू प्रोवाइड डिजिटल क्लासेस फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ इन बायोलॉजी सो टूडे विल कंटिन्यू आवर डिस्कशन ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर सेवन फ्रॉम क्लास इलेवेंथ स्ट्रक्चर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन एनिमल्स and the topic for discussion is anatomy of cockroach as we know the chapter has been divided into three learning units we have completed the first and second unit dealing with the animal tissues all the types morphology and anatomy of cockroach and we will continue with the anatomy of cockroach in this part so as far as the concept ladder is concerned we have reached the final ladder anatomy of cockroach what you are expected to know before we start the lecture morphology of cockroach basic understanding about nature of excretory material in cockroach basic feature of the members of phylum arthropoda that will help you to understand the conceptual details the learning outcomes you'll be able to describe the respiration in cockroach explain the excretion in cockroach describe the nervous system of cockroach and describe the male and female reproductive system in cockroach along with the life cycle as far as respiratory system is concerned it consists of network of trachea which opens through 10 pairs of small holes called spiracles you would have definitely seen the question or experiment where two organism a cockroach and a mice is inverted in a glass filled with water and their head is dipped question is asked which will survive for longer many student does not get the answer but the answer is cockroach because cockroach breathe through spiracles present on the lateral side of the abdominal segment whereas mice breathes through the lungs so once the water gets inside the nostril it may choke out so the respiration is done by trachea tube like structure which opens through 10 pairs of small holes called as spiracles and opening of the spiracles is regulated by band of muscle called as sphincter tracheal tubules are subdivided into tracheoles these bathe in the hemolymph and which carries oxygen to all the part exchange takes place by diffusion so diffusion is the main tool of exchange of gases now let us look at the next system the excretory system how excretion is performed cockroach is uricotelic it has to conserve water it excretes uric acid excretion is performed by yellow colored malpighian tubules while looking at the digestive system we have seen at the junction of midgut and hindgut there were malpighian tubules each tubule is lined by glandular ciliated cells and as you can say fat body nephrocyte and uricose glands also helps in excretion in the tubule there is excretion of bicarbonates along with water and some substrate is reabsorbed so mainly the excretion takes place by malpighian tubule and there are around 100 to 105 50 tubules present in cockroach once we then see the nervous system it's evolving it consists of series of fused segmentally arranged ganglia right and uh, it the fusion is by longitudinal connective on the ventral side there are three ganglia lying in the thorax and six in the abdomen so overall nine ganglia right the supraosophageal ganglia is called as the brain of the cockroach right there is subesophageal ganglion and circumesophageal gang uh, commissure joining them both the thoracic ganglions are present and three and then six abdominal ganglion in the head the brain is represented by supraesophageal ganglion which supplies nerve to the antenna and the compound eye so this is a complex structure present in and you can see it's a ladder like the nervous system is 
ladder like as far as the sense organ is concerned the head contains pair of compound eyes and this compound eyes are made up of around 2000 hexagonal unit called as omatidium and cockroach has a mosaic vision it is nocturnal it can see in the night and uh, antenna present in the head maxillary palps labial palp and anal cerci these are the other sense organ present in cockroach cockroach is very very sensitive it's very difficult to catch it as we have seen cockroach are dioecious so they have got well developed reproductive organ whether it's male or female if you look at the male reproductive system you'll find that fourth to sixth segment contains a pair of testes on the lateral side it starts on the fourth and sixth abdominal segment the vast difference arises from each testis and opens into the ejaculatory duct through the seminal vesicle and ejaculatory duct opens into male gonophores right so this is the important characteristics and uh, the accessory reproductive glands are mushroom separate and present in the 6th to 7th abdominal seg segment there is male gonophysis which represents the external genitalia so male gonapophysis that represents the external genitalia sperms are stored in the seminal vesicle as is the case in case of a human even it is glued together in bundles which are called as spermatophores and it is discharged during copulation so this is how the reproductive system in male is arranged the testes lying one on each side from fourth to sixth segment now let us have a look at the female reproductive system how does it look like the female reproductive system lies from second to sixth abdominal segment it lies laterally right there are two large ovaries formed by group of eight ovarioles containing chain of developing ova right and uh, these ovary opens into oviduct so oviduct of each ovary unite into a single median oviduct which we can call as vagina and vagina opens into genital chamber around nine segment and uh, a pair of sperm theca is present in the sixth segment so this is how the female reproductive system is arranged it starts from second to sixth abdominal segment ovary is present and ovary leads to oviduct oviduct leads to a common vagina there are some collateral glands present and genital chamber along with vestibulum are called as genital pouch so this is how the male and female reproductive systems are arranged now let us look at fertilization how the fertilization takes place sperm are transferred through spermatophores so it is internal the fertilized egg is encased in capsule and uh, that is called as utheca you would have seen a dark brown color capsule normally located on the underside of the furnitures right so female produces around 9 to 10 utheca and each has got 14 to 16 eggs so now you can realize how much is the reproduction rate in case of cockroach why you will find myriads of cockroach roaming here and there so development is concerned it is porometabolous that means uh, the cockroach has to pass through nymphal stage and nymphs look like adult and they metamorphosize 13 times by molting they grows up 13 time by molting so that's why we call development as porometabolous and life cycle of cockroach is concerned you can see male and female cockroach reproduction taking place and uh, utheca is formed which contains eggs egg membranes that allows development of egg into cockroach and cockroach grows out and we are already aware about the structure so this is how the life cycle of cockroach goes cockroaches are uh, menacing they are carrier of disease vectors of disease rather say and uh, pest which needs to be controlled 
that's what we have to conclude in this chapter. Let us recapitulate what we have learned. The respiratory system in the anatomy. It is made up of a network of trachea which opens through 10 spiracles on the lateral side which are guarded by sphincter and oxygen is delivered directly to the cell. Excretion osmoregulation takes place by Malpighi tubule. It is urocatalic, so excrete uric acid as excretory product. The nervous system comprises of series of few segmentally arranged ganglia. It has got uh, three ganglion in the thorax and six in abdomen. Brain is represented by supraesophageal ganglion. The reproductive system consists in male of pair of testis, which lies in from fourth to sixth abdominal segment. This leads to vast difference, ejaculatory duct and male gonophore. The gland includes seminal vesicle which stores sperms and mushroom shepherd gland in 6 to 7 segment. The female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovaries with 8 ovarian tubules each and they lie from 2nd to 6th segment. The sperms transferred through spermatophores fertilize eggs encased in the capsule called as utheka. Each utheka contains around 14 to 16 eggs. The development is porometabolous and there is incomplete metamorphosis. NIMS grows by molting 13 times to reach the adult form. So I believe now the basic understanding of the anatomy of cockroach you must have had. It's time for us to go for some assessment. The respiration cockroach takes place through trachea, book lungs, skin or gills. Mark your answer down. The brain in cockroach is represented by supraesophageal ganglion, dorsal ganglion, subesophageal ganglion, abdominal ganglion. Which of the following represents external genitalia in cockroach? Testis, gonapophysis, phalomia, or seminal vesicle? Hope you would have marked your responses. Let's move to the fourth question. Which of the following is not a sense organ in cockroach? Antenna, tegmina, labial palp, anal cirque. It is just like eliminate the odd man out. The ovary in cockroaches lies in 2nd to 6th abdominal segment, 4th to 6th abdominal segment, 6 to 8 abdominal segment, 7 to 9 abdominal segment. Pretty simple. How much you know cockroach? If you have marked your responses, it's time for us to look for the correct responses. Respiration takes place by trachea. The brain is super supraesophageal ganglion. Gonopophysis external represents external genitalia. Tegmina is the wing present in the mesothorax, pair of wing, which is not used for flight. And uh, ovary is present in the second to sixth abdominal segments. Now you need to take down some home assignment. Take this question and submit to your mentors for correction. You can also visit the links for more understanding. So, I must thank you all for being patient and having a great learning. We have completed the animal tissues introduction, epithelial connective tissues, muscular and nervous tissues. We have seen the morphology of cockroach, anatomy of cockroach and concluded this part where we have read anatomy of cockroach briefly. Hence, we come to the end of this chapter and we have seen how the organization takes place in animal body. This video lecture was presented by Mr. Rajiv Ranjan Singh, PGT Biology, Kendra Vidyale, Air Force Station, Kumbhagra, Silchar Region. And the task force behind? Thank you for viewing. This is a Zit Bhuvaneshwar presentation.